Welcome back to Vlatlix. I made a video how to set up a home bar and you asked me to explain techniques so you can improve quality of the cocktails and look more confident when you're making drinks for someone. But before we start, as always, we do cool giveaways on this channel and this week we have custom bar set. You will need to practice all the techniques that we're about to learn. So if you want to be part of this giveaway, all you need to do is just be subscribed to my channel, leave any comment below, and we will choose one random winner next week. Let's go! Stirring is the most basic way to mix a cocktail. We stir any time we make drinks with only a spirit, to chill it, dilute, but without adding air into it. There are multiple mixing glasses available. You can get bigger if needed to stir multiple drinks, but the most popular and probably the best are Japanese-style 18 ounces mixing glass. You can also choose the same, but stainless Still, ideally it should be pre-chilled before you mix in a drink in it. If you can't keep yours in the freezer, just uh, fill them up with ice and stir until the glass gets cold. You can add water with ice and it will be even faster. There are also multiple choices of spoons available. The most popular are 30, 40 and 50 centimeters with spiraling stem. And top of the spoon can have little muddler, pineapple, trident or a magic fairy. <laughs> you don't have to get the longest one, it depends on the glass you use and make sure you have enough room to hold it in a comfortable position. Not exactly in the middle, but slightly higher. To me personally, long bar spoon is the easiest to use. Well, after mixing 5-10 cocktails, you will look pro even with a teaspoon. Practice stirring a few times without a glass. Hold it comfortably between your fingers and I start pushing toward myself, then push it away. Only if wrist working and your hand is totally relaxed. To me, long spoon is so much more balanced and almost feels like stirring itself without my help. <laughs> now let's try it in the glass, but without ice. Push it against the glass wall and keep rotating. Get a little faster and if it's not making clanking noise, is, you are ready to mix cocktails. Also, since you can make cocktails such as Negroni in the serving glass, try a few times to stir in the double rocks glass, but there shouldn't be any difference once you get hang of it. Let's repeat all the steps. Fill glass with ice, stir until it gets cold, make sure to remove that ice and only then pour in ingredients. Then fill up mixing glass about two thirds of ice and stir it for 30 to 45 seconds to get a necessary dilution and chill your cocktail properly. Now we need to pour cocktail into desired glass and we will use a julep strainer to avoid making a mess. For convenience strain, I put few more pieces of ice on top, then support top of the julep strainer with my index finger and slowly pour over ice without lifting up too high, you don't want to have bubbles there. And it's totally okay to support mixing glass with your other hand, but you should practice to pour holding it in one hand only, because when you will strain from shaker, you might be holding a fine strainer in your other hand. If you paid attention, you noticed that I stirred previous drink with regular cubed ice. But here I wanted to point out to another method of stirring using two different types of ice. Cracked ice cover more surface and cocktail supposed to get colder quicker and large ice at the same time won't give a lot of dilution fast. I don't really see you using this technique on your home kitchen, but you need to know that and try for sure. One of the most common mistakes you can do is actually put just a few pieces of ice and let it flow there like like, you know. In general, stirring technique is really simple to learn, but as I explained in the Japanese cocktails episode, it takes really long time to perfect it. The way Japanese bartenders do is actually pretty challenging. They not bump it into sides, do it without making clanking noises, almost a silent stirring. I'm still in the process of perfecting their art of stirring. If you have experience already, would love to hear from you. What spoon side do you prefer to stir your cocktails? Let me know in the comments. Now let's figure out the most important technique, shake. Boston is the most popular shaker, which has two parts, 18 ounces chili shaker, where you pour all the ingredients and main part. 28 ounces, you put ice in there, combine them together and shake. I prefer to use instead of chili shaker, 16 ounces mixing glass, so you guys can see all the ingredients I put inside, but it works exactly the same as a stainless steel cup. The most common Boston shakers are plain stainless steel, but could be powder coated with any art you love. More popular for home is the cobbler shaker. It has three parts and pretty convenient that the middle part is a strainer. Shakers these days can be in any shape or form, like for example this bullet or this one made from acrylic. If you don't want to have a fancy one, you can use a mason jar instead. But all of them have one purpose of mixing different density ingredients like cream, milk, eggs, juice or syrup and add air into your cocktail. Pour all the ingredients into mixing glass or chili shaker, fill up the main part full of ice and now put them together. Shake it at least 10-15 seconds with your preferred style.
But today we also got together to try to understand a Japanese heart shake, but we'll need a cobbler shaker and large cubed ice. The main purpose of this specific shaking technique is to put a lot of air into the drink. It makes the cocktail lighter and more enjoyable to drink. The Japanese shake is a lot harder to do than a regular traditional one. It could take years of practice to execute it perfectly. Yep. Let's combine all the ingredients and I will use two large ice cubes. Close it tight, place your dominant hand on top and your thumb should cover the cap of the shaker. The main movement we need to learn is the wrist snap. Make sure it feels natural before you start shaking. Relax your shoulders, snap hands forward and backward, keep your elbows high, stay in a position like a boxer to have a better balance. Start shaking slow and speed up once you find the rhythm. Sound will change, it should feel smooth and natural like whipping cream in the bowl. This style of shaking should create a rolling effect inside which will cause the ice to create a figure 8 in the liquid. That way more air and frothy consistency will be created. After a well executed hard shake your ice will be polished and have rounded corners not completely crashed as we have after completing traditional shake. I'm obviously still working on this technique but hope this inspired you to try it and create your own style of hard shake. I also wanted to share tips on different cocktail making methods but didn't want to make video too long. Please let me know in the comments if you guys want to see them. Incredibly thankful to all my Patreon supporters. Please check out links in the description if you would like to support this channel and get access to extra content. Huge thanks to everyone who participated in the previous giveaway. Our top cocktails with herbs winner is Sonam Chot Harry. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you in the next video.